and he graduated and he you know got a job and got another contract and then another contract and this and that and career 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 and he told me like for the last 8 9 years all i've been thinking about is savings investment the next move the promotion saving for the kids paying off the house real estate 401k and yeah i go for salat and stuff but my day and night is not spent thinking how am i going to get to jannah it's not it hasn't been like that that's i i remember being like that once i remember that time i'm not that person anymore i don't know what's happened i'm questioning why am i am i just on this earth to just save more money and build more of a career why why am i on this earth i'm just starting to question rethink about where my life is headed taking care of your family and having a great career is not something bad but when that when that's what your life amounts to and that's not a question i can answer for yourself right that's only a question i can ask myself deep down inside and you have to ask yourselves deep down inside are we living to work or are we are we working to serve allah you know there are people who just live to work that's it they lose their job they they've lost lost their dignity they've lost their purpose in life that's all they were was a worker that's it there was nothing else in their life are we those people are we just machines cogs in a in a machine parts of a factory that's all we are in this economy that's all we're here to do save money buy a house pay off a house take care of our children make sure they go to college and done we're out of here make some salawat in between if we can that's it or is there something more you know wa ma lakum alla tunfiqu fi sabilillah wa lillahi mirathu samawati wal ard la yastawi minkum man anfaqa min qabl al fath no the, the ones among you who was spent before victory came are not the same من قبل الفتح وقاتل and he fought before victory came اولئك اعظم درجة those people are greater in terms of their rank in terms of rank من الذين انفقوا من بعد from those who spent after victory came way after وقاتل and those who fought also Allah is already starting to talk about victory cuz ahzab was done one major victory had already happened and Allah is saying there were people who were spending for the sake of Islam when there was no hope in sight everything around you was reason for pessimism Things were getting worse by the day and they kept on spending their time, their energy, their money, their assets for Islam. Those people will not be ranked the same as others who spent when convenient. And I tell you we are sitting on a golden opportunity. When we look at the state of our ummah today, here and everywhere else, we are in a very low place right now. Especially as far as our iman is concerned. Overall, I can't judge your iman and you can't judge mine, but I feel if I'm If I'm a representation of the average Muslim we're pretty down there. And we're we're pretty I mean we got a long way up. And if we're in this state, then if now we put ourselves to work to fix ourselves, to build ourselves up, we will be ranked by Allah in a higher place than those who will come and spend when victory is already there.